It's racing time. We're back after a long two-week break. It's safe space racing. Oh, we're in Brazil today. Beautiful Brazil. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you were safe on the long break week. Hope everybody's come back. Ultra Titan in the chat. Dry quality. And a dry to wet race, possibly. But the race might be glitched. So we'll have to see. Yeah, weather's not been consistent. Ultra Titan, thank you so much for the timely weather report. Uh, got a little bit of short grid today. A lot of people out. A lot of people not showing up for Brazil. It's a little bit more of a technical track. A little harder to get traction on. So it's a little difficult for some people. For you guys that are playing other games right now that tick to be here, your names have been noted. You will be punished thoroughly. The lashings will begin immediately. First car out is going to be Elliot F01 in the Mercedes. Looking pretty quick so far. Just a heads up, short on the beer supply today. Beer chugs are in effect, but I'm going to have to IOU. So hopefully I can get those sorted out here in a minute. My beverage cart girl is occupied. We can do a shot. I don't know if I even got anything to do a shot with, but we'll see. We'll figure it out. Ooh, little wiggle by Elliot there. You see him trying to get the power down a little early in sector three. Got a little bit of a wiggle able to hang on to it. Still just an outlap. Not going to matter. How's everybody been? Welcome back. Two weeks off, man. Long break. Almost forgot how to do all this. How's the audio? Hoping everything's good. Sound coming through okay. Looks like it's not too loud. So I'm liking that. Yeah, Lugie's on the grid, boys. Hide your front wings. Yeah, real short grid, only 16 today. Hopefully that'll leave enough room for everybody to have a good race. I definitely see a couple of spins on this track for sure. I know I spun here a lot. Fun track. It really is fun. Looks like we lost Ogle. In a second, let me see if I can get Maxim back in here. Uh, Maxim... He might have crash crash. I don't know if I have Maximo on here. Ooh, I don't know if I do. Anybody's got Maxim and has a second, shoot him an invite. Doesn't look like I've got him on here. Unfortunately. Yeah, it doesn't look like I got Max on here. Sorry, Max. If you're watching along, rejoin, rejoin. Elliot with a 109. Oh. It's a time to beat right now. I think Arrow's the next one right behind him. Arrow goes 194, so just a little off the pace. Who else is out there? 108.7 for Mallard. New time to beat. Kings, I believe, is coming around. There's a Red Bull. I believe that's Boss Cookie. It's Boss Cookie's going to go 174, so that puts him at the top. That's the one to beat now. Big lap there. We knew that was coming. All right, let's see. Alfa Romeo, I believe that's going to be GB. Ultra Titan starting a lap. He was invalid. GB coming out in sector three now, his teammate. GB having a good season. Knock on wood. Hopefully it keeps going for him. Love to see him continue to have good races. Real light on viewers today, too. Only two people watching today. It's like they forgot we were here after the two-week break. Get back in here and watch the stream. All right, GB goes P3 with a 108.6. Good lap for him. Let's see who that is coming behind. I believe that's going to be Kings. Kings goes 194. Halo right behind him, 195. That's going to be 7 and 8, respectively. Maxim is completely glitched out. It says he's in the pit, but it shows him out on turn 1, 2. Ish, just crap, glitched completely out. All right, thanks for the invite, guys. Appreciate y'all getting back in here. Much love. Max, if you need to give me an ad, big dog, on Xbox, if you're watching, I'll be like, I'll be back and when you drop out. All right, so let's take a look around the track. Charisma out there. The Alpine. 
sitting in as a reserve today. Good to see you at Mew Mew. Hopefully he has a good race. Hasn't been on the seat much. Here comes Conley. Conley goes P8 with a 109.036. That's a good lap for him. He needs in the final sector now. Let's see what he can put up. There we go, 13 viewers, everybody finally tuned in. Welcome back, everybody, after the long break. Much love. Yeah, Maxim's car is just hanging out. It is ghosted, so no worries. Charisma goes P3 with an 8-4. Not bad, not bad. Right at the top, I like it. Arrows on an out lap. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. 21 days ago was the last cheers, last follows. We had John Cena, Unspoken Expanse, Baird Wellens, and Moses KTZ follow on the last stream. So, got a few new followers. That's four. That's good, good stats. I like it. Got about 10, just under 11 minutes. 10 minutes, 50 seconds left in Quali. There's Zamp in the chat, showing the love. What's up, Zamp? Hope all's well. Right, we're currently watching Arrow. He's on a flyer. 109.409 is his previous time. Puts him in P10. He's definitely looking to move up the grid here. It's pretty hard to pass here, except down that front straight. Really easy to get caught in the mayhem. I'm on board with the Ferrari now as he comes around the uh, pin ultimate. Just hugging that left wall, trying to shave speed. P10 to P4, 108.537 for Arrow. So big jump on the grid there. Big lap for him. We'd love to see it. Well done. Here comes Elliot with a purple sector two. 109.019 his previous time. He's on par to beat that here by quite a bit. He goes seven tenths faster. That's going to put him in P3. That's going to bump Charisma to fourth and Arrow to fifth. So big lap by Elliot. Gotta love it. And this looks like Ultra trying to get him a lap. He's been invalid a few times, but should be on for a time here. So you had a moment. Long lap time. 112.8, so not counting that one. That's a big, big time for him too. Let's see. Now we have Kings coming through. He's on a flyer. 1.9481. This is time to beat. I'm not gonna advance there. Halo coming around. Alpine driver hugging that inside skirt there. He's going to use the momentum to carry him out. Halo will not improve. 9-5. Time but not position. He will improve his time, not his position. Here's GB diving into the pits. Now he's going around for a time. 109.036, that's going to improve his time, not his position. Still in P10 for Conley. Here comes Emu down the start finish. He's going to improve his time. 108.426, not his position. Still sitting in fifth there. I believe that's Stinner coming around now. No, that was Payo, Payo Kings. Let's see, Stinner's coming up. He's on an out lap. Who's that ahead of him? I believe that's... It'll be Halo, like cool now. He's on the flyer. So he's 109.5, the time to beat 13 seconds. Paul Speedy still holding on the lead with a 7.4, so he's pretty quick today, as usual, on par for it. 
not having to shake off any rust so far. So two weeks didn't hurt him. I'm sure he's had his head down practice in Brazil. He knew it was coming. Halo goes four tenths faster, but he's going to stay in 13th. Nine zero seven eight, just off Conley for 12. He's going to hang on to 12. He improves two hundredths of a second. So he's going to stay in 12th with a better time. Oh, Charisma's invalid. He's had a moment. Is that Ollie behind? That's going to be Mallard behind. He's going to dive into the pits. JG staying out. JG had a definite moment. Plus 23 seconds on his previous time. So that ain't going to get it done. Kings is plus eight seconds on his previous time, so not going to get it done either. Arrows eight tenths faster, and he is going to go six, eight, five, three, seven. So P6 for him. There's Maxim back. Be the boss cookies out there looking for another lap. Let's see the man. Appreciate all 13 of you tuning in today. Much love. Thanks for giving some of your Sunday. Welcome back. Long break week. Got Brazil today. Let's see what else we got coming up. Uh, calendar. So we got Brazil today. Australia next Sunday, which coincides with the Australia race. And then we got Spain or Mexico sprint. Probably going to be Spain say but you never know drivers are gonna vote boss cookie goes 200 faster so he's at a 7420 420 big guy nice wonder if you did that on purpose he's got the head down he's at a 110 112 we're 13 3, so he's 4.8 seconds slower that lap. So it looks like he might be just getting this deal. Oleg, brother Oleg, how are you, my man? Hope you're well. Oleg in the chat. Much love, much love. When you get when you gonna join us back, Oleg? Miss the miss that crazy Russian driving. I think Oleg's the only person ever yell at me for letting him buy. <laughs> Everyone else takes it with a hat tip. Oleg says, never do that again. <laughs> he likes the battle. All right, so first Ferrari JG's in the pits. Arrows coming around will likely see the pits as well. Who's that coming across the line? That's the Lug. 9.454 is only going to get him 14. Dub Z not to leave the pit box yet, so. Ukrainian doing some magic stuff. A Ukrainian driver. No. Oh. <laughs> okay, Ukrainian driver it is. Root for, root for the good guys. I like it. He said, I'm not claiming it anymore. So the Ukrainian driver, Oleg. Careful, they're always watching Oleg. <laughs> All right, everybody in the pits. Let's see, we got Halo out there shooting for a time. Halo is currently sitting 13th with a 9078. See if he can improve on that for Alpine. Halo. Sitting P13, trying to move up the grid a little bit. Everybody's sitting out for that last few minutes. It's three minutes to go in quali. Let's see what Halo can do. He's a oh god. Tearing stuff up. Can't see what he's doing because I'm throwing my controller on the ground. There we go. 10th faster, that's going to put him P12, 8, 9, 5, 1. So he does move up just a little bit. Looks like 
Conley. A little wiggle from Conley as we tune in. Challenging that McLaren's downforce. You can see the car do a big wiggle there as he was trying to hang on to it. Coming down the traction zone. He's got Boss Cookie behind him a ways. Boss Cookie still out front. 17420. So the only person close is Stinner with a 7797. So pretty close. He's in the realm. In the realm. But Boss Cookie just laying it down like he always does. Here right, comes Conley. He's at a 19 0. Can he improve? He does. Big lap. 8 6 6 9. That's going to be P10 for Conley. So he jumps up about four spots there. Big lap by the McLaren driver. Well done. Believe it or not, we got Dub Z out there as well. Has finally come out invalid. He's going to do a one and done, I would imagine. So he's going to have time to get another lap. Pretty much everyone out. Halo, Kings, and Maxim in the pits. Everyone else is out. I think Maxim's still having some trouble with this. So Boss Cookie is your pole position for the moment with one minute to go in quality. Stenner, JG, Elliott, Ultra Titan, Charisma, Arrow, Ollie, Chibi, and Conley closing out the top ten. Bottom half is going to be Mallard, Kings, Halo. Lugie has called it a day and Dub Z. We're watching Dub Z now trying to get a time here, trying to get on the board. We got special guest Oleg in the chat. It's a good day for SSR. Ollie's happy with eighth right now. Still a few people behind him. On board with Dub Z. He's trying to get a time. Oh, nope. He's just going to dive into the pit box. So he's going to be doing a back to front. Kings is on a lap. Who's ahead of him? Let's see. Here comes Mallard around for a time. GB's going to go P7. Mallard's going to go P7. That's going to bump GB down to eighth. Arrow down to ninth. Here comes UT. See what the Tatas can do. He's going to dive right into the pits. JG's getting tailed by the Mercedes. JG's going to stay 30. Improves his time. Elliott improves his time as well. They're both 3 4. False cookies invalid. Dinner's going to try to catch him. Well, GB said he went deep. Baron Wellums. Baron in the house, the Flying Dutchman. What's up, Baron? Welcome to the stream. All right. Stinner can't do it. He is four hundredths slower. So who else we got? We got UT's done. Mallard's coming around. Looks like he's babying a little bit, so he's going into the pits. Everybody else is bringing it in. We're just waiting on Mallard to make it on home. We're going to go race. Boss Cookie on the pole, 7 four twenty. So, congratulations to Boss Cookie for yet another pole. Oh, Baron was going to race, but uh, says he didn't get didn't see the invite. Yeah, we did definitely shoot you an invite. All right, so Boss Cookie on the pole, three tenths behind his stinner. Closing out the first row, JG and Kings on the second row. Elliot and Charisma on the third row. Fourth row is going to be Titan and Mallard. Fifth row, GB and Arrow. So, spicy little grid. Some new faces. I don't think we had any incidents uh, other than Maxim. Maxim had a little connection trouble there. Yeah, yeah. We, we definitely sent you an invite. We'd love to see you on the grid, Baron. Any chance we can get. Nine seconds to go. We're going to do the formation lap. While we're doing that, let's take a look at the stats. Right, I didn't edit these. So these are current stats as of the final race before the break. Red Bull out to a big constructor lead. Boss Cookie with 176 points. Ultra Titan in there at second with 138. Ollie third with 122. Budweiser 111. JG closing out in the top five with 95. Oh, that one's not good. 
Sorry, guys. Make some adjustments. All these reserve drivers make it real difficult to get everybody in there. My apologies. So weather showing dry, wet, dry. So keep that in mind for your strategies. Don't ready up until you see the timer tick at the top. The person that's supposed to ready up first knows what they're supposed to be doing. Boss Cookie up there. First, 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 ninth, one, three. <laughs> it's bringing in them big points. It's Brazil. It pretty much always rains at Brazil. Tropical climate. It's going to be good times. Yeah, it should be good. Should be a good race. Just waiting on the nod. And then we're going to get this underway. Everybody's doing their strategies. Now they get the, the weather and the forecast. I'm sure there's going to be some tweaking and changing. Brazil in the wet. <laughs> Boss Cookie in the Discord chat, happy about the weather. It's a challenge. He likes a challenge. I've noticed that. He does. He does appreciate a good challenge. Too bad we couldn't have a uh, hungry throne here. Top Gun, as some of them known him, he usually gives Boss Cookie a run for his money. Always good races when those two are battling. Budweiser not here. He's been up there pretty close to uh, Boss Cookie as well. Oh, and oh, Maxim has left the session again. I think he's uh, he's having some serious connection issues today. UT, if you wouldn't mind shooting him another invite, please. Oh, yeah, he says game froze again. Awesome. These these technical issues brought to you by Codemasters. Complete shite in gaming. <laughs> All right, here we go. Formation lap is underway. Take a look at the tires for everyone. Looks like hards and mediums. A couple of gamblers. Maxim on hards. Lugie on hards. And Stinner on the hards. Okay. Okay. I see you, Stinner. All right. Let's get back to that racing car. Let's see what's going on. Boss Cookie taking us out for the formation lap. 16 drivers today. 36 laps in the beautiful Brazilian track. This weather is going to be a little spicy towards the middle of the race. All right, all right, all right. Maxim said he's having big technical issues. He's going to get an invite back. If anybody's got Maxim, ping him an invite. He'll get to it when he gets back in. He's at the back of the grid, so I don't think it's going to make a big difference. We're about to get started here. Hang tight. Watch the rest of this formation lap. We'll get ready with five lights. All right, here we go. Everybody forming up. Oh, Baron says Lugie on the podium. I don't know about that one. That's a long shot. I hope to see it, though. All right, here we go. And we're away. Official start at Brazil. Boss Cookie with a great start. Leads us into the first corner. 
Scoot back here a little bit, see if there's any carnage. Looks like we're all clean through the first corner. False Cookie pulls away with a huge lead. Seven tenths into the first straight. Oh, and Lugie's out. Lugie is out. <laughs> oh man, Lugie's dead. There goes that. <laughs> Baron. <laughs> Ouch. Didn't even catch it. Well, Lugie, if you'd like to join me in the booth, you are more than welcome. Charisma on the back of Elliot. Big DRS train right now. Everybody's in the slipstream. Loogie didn't last long. <laughs> GG's Loogie. Hey, there's Jet Adam in the chat as well. What's up, Brother Jet? Welcome, Brother Loogie. Tell us what happened. <laughs> Safety card deployed for my crying. <laughs> That was a that was a quick uh, one, Luke. What happened? Did you lose it? Did you get touched? Uh, some, yeah, someone pit maneuvered me. I'm not sure who. Show us on this F1 um, doll where you got touched. <laughs> <laughs> right around the right around the meat of the butt cheek. Right around there. Yeah, yeah got a little hefty so, shit. Not... <laughs> hey, hey, man, we're here. Welcome back. Brazil. Welcome back. It's a party. <laughs> It's touching that you got touched in the old ham hock there here at Brazil, known for the rear end. <laughs> it's only fitting. Well, I got up to, I got up to like P10 or something at, at the start. Like I had an awesome start on the hards, go right up there, and then yeah, that was the end of my race. Go through two turns. So uh, yeah, boss cookie. Paul Skuggy is absolutely rapid today, guys. Yeah, he's, he's on the next level. We are two yeah. laps in. He's two and a half seconds ahead right now. So I hope you guys like getting lapped because it's going to happen. It's raining. It's raining. Luki, uh, could you be so kind as to give Maxim an invite, please? Maxim will get an invite now. Yes. Boys, it is raining. Yep, so Jeff was, was telling us oh, that it was not going oh, to rain. Stinner just took the left side tire off the grass. He's had a big moment. He's oh back to sixth, front inside. He did a great job of saving it, though. The oh, and then he gets into the Alfa Romeo on the inside, leaves absolutely no space for him. Kind of bullies his way through, and that's put Ultra Titan around. That's going to be an incident. That's definitely going to be under review. Oh, the Alfa Romeo was well alongside. Stinner just turned down on him, caused him to drop all the way back to 14th. You hate to see it. Um, right, we are about in. halfway, Jet, I believe. I the calendar. Yeah, we're just at the halfway point. This is the second second leg. We just All took right, our so two yeah. break. Maxim's back in now. Yeah, so our Mark, as he's called now, not Jeff, he was telling us that it wasn't going to rain for at least, at least the first half of the race. So about when you would start switching from the mediums that was when it was going to start raining so i gambled with the hards and thought maybe it would stretch it a little bit but now it looks like it's the raining runners, already <laughs> yeah it's already raining the medium runners they made the good shout you could have even started the race on softs and and you would have you would have been okay so depending on how heavy it rains now we're going to see inters maybe around lap 10 i guess Gonna be a good race though, it's gonna be spicy. In the midfield, super close. Those guys like gee, I was in a party with DB and Ultra. Uh, those guys, Ollie, Elliot, those dudes, they were all really, really close together in quality, so I mean watch the space, see what happens. I don't know what happened to Ultra. Did he oh, get messed up uh, in the Stinner Stinner had the moment and then when he came around the next corner, Ultra Titan was alongside and just got just got squished. He, Stinner oh, came Kings into off. him. Yeah, King's around as well there. Looks like he had a traction issue. Yeah, Stinner kind of turned into Ultra there and, and and gave him a shove in the side pod. It turned him around, so he dropped back down to 14. He's trying to rally back. Doesn't look like he has any damage, but I mean, Ultra Titan was well alongside in the apex, and I think I don't know if Stinner yeah. just didn't see him or what. Gave him a hefty little shove there with the left front in the side oh. pod. 
turn him around. So Mollard for the under review for Mollard. sure. Yeah, GB is about to do a move on Mollard. They're Mollard with a huge whip coming through turn two. And uh, he's losing a lot of traction there just now. But oh, GB is GB right on now. his gearbox. Yeah. Charisma. Steiner just made the move on Charisma there. They're wheel to wheel right now. Going turn eight. Charisma is going to down the inside. Oh. It's very close. Steiner ahead. Steiner keeps it, yeah. Charisma playing the smart here. He's, he's trying to stay. Oh, whip for Stender again, losing traction. Charisma's got the run here. He's definitely going to get by down the straight. It's all about the exit here now. Stender gets a good one. Stender using a lot of battery early, though. Charisma's creeping up. I don't think he's going to get the move done here safely. But there he goes. He's got him in the slipstream. No battery at all. Just uses the momentum to go down the inside. Great overtake. GB making the move on Mollard at the same time. He gets it done down the other side almost. On the oh, touch. Mallard's around. Mollard is off. There's a subtle touch. Oh, he's back in right behind his teammate. Dives in behind Ollie as he's able to get the nose back in the right direction. Oh, the Alpine of Halo almost gets run off the track there. As Ollie goes past Dubsy down the inside, he gets the move done. A lot of action here, guys. We're trying to keep up with it all. The madness. All right, so yeah, that looks like they're going to settle down now for a minute. However, these guys are all super close at the moment. Yeah, this is anybody's fight right here in the mid. Oh, oh we got a car off. Ultra, ultra Stenner, down Stenner the Stenner outside. Run. Oh, man, the outside. Oh, he's oh and top. then he comes back touches. on. He hits ultra again. It's the second time he's made contact with ultra. Oh, man. It is all kicking off at Brazil, guys. A super a spicy bargy. race. <laughs> so spicy that I only lost the two corners. <laughs> <laughs> the autobiography of AJ Morris. <laughs> <laughs> nah, two man, corners. you used to you used to last more than two corners. It, it was either the you first two corners or I got to the end of the race and got ransacked. <laughs> yeah. Comes Molly yeah. in the back of GB, gets a great run out of the corner. That's going to be a no contest overtake. Oh, horrible camera angle here. Here we go. You can see the uh, Aston Martin ahead. Ultra Titan's going to get past Mallard, the other Aston Martin. So the Alfa Romeo is trying to leak back up. The last few races, they've been real close together, working well. Time in the pit stops. They've been doing really well as a constructor. Conley trying to get in the mix. Dub Z, I got to give a hat tip to him. Unable to get a lap in quality. Started at the back, has found his way all the way up to the middle of the pack with his teammate. Yeah, yeah so Dub Z had quite a good start with, with me. So I think, like, when I was carving through a little bit up to P10, I think Dub Z was, like, right behind me. So I think he, he got a pretty awesome start as well. There we go. Race control says it's too wet for the DRS. Who's going to dive in first? All right, in the goal. Okay, so Ollie, okay, GB, Conley. Does he gonna stay yeah. out? Oh, Ultra UT catches a five. That's gonna. So hurt. it looked like Dubsy, Dubsy wanted to go in, but he was right behind Conley, so he kind of he jinked to the left and then came back out right when he saw Conley dip in. That yeah. was a good move because yeah. the double stack would not have worked. Yeah, they were way too close together there to, to way too close, double stack. Yeah. So I'm sure you'll see Dubsy come in this next lap. So I think he's looking to come in, yeah. But it looks to me like they're okay at the moment. I mean, some of the lead guys, like Boss Cookie, he decided he elected to stay out, and he knows what he's talking about, obviously. So I would be copying him at this time. I think he's going to try to stretch here. him. He's got six seconds, six second lead on second place. He's got no real desire to go in as long as he's got remotely good traction, which looks like he's cornering okay. No slippage, no nothing, but he's... There he is. He's in. He's, he's in gonna this go lap. Ahead and take it yeah. in this lap. He's got the time up. So don't blame him at all. Up. Six seconds. Arrow or JG's gonna stay out and go around. I think that might be a mistake. He should have dove in there. Well, I think everyone else probably will now. Or he's counting on the rain to be short. Ooh, and Charisma gets Dubsy's a five second. Dubsy's decided to stay out. He's elected to stay out. Right maybe, maybe just a light sprinkle back. Real right, sky road on. His arrows on the back of Charisma. He's about a half second back. They're all in the pits now, so. 
So on board with that, with JG right now, it looks like he still has traction, he still has grip. Will that last through sector two, sector three? Yeah, down the, the down the hill is the questionable part. You start getting down in those those S curves, you start getting a little traction issue. Let's see if he can hang on to it. Looks solid. Ferrari looks glued to the ground, so good call by him staying out. So well, right now as it stands, he's he's not a pit stop away from Stenner or Boscuki or uh, he is from Elliot, I think. I agree. You could well, do with just going in. I mean, real Skyro in the chat <laughs> says so far it's shaping up to be a good race. Top three are looking solid. Yeah, it's gonna be a good race. I'm gonna enjoy this one. It's always pretty good here. Stinger's back into third now. He stayed out on the hards, so he's moved back up, made up for those little bobbles. But he is right behind Boss Cookie. Big walk up. The pits there from Senator. He's in there. Oh, he's he gets a hard off. Halo's made some ground. Charisma looks like he might have had a moment. Yeah, Charisma's yeah. had a moment. Kings is through. Arrows past Stinner, who's coming out of the pits now. This is going to be a drag race. He should come right out behind the Ferrari. Charisma's boxing. Yeah, I think Charisma had an issue there. He, uh, Does he have wing damage? Uh, he might, yeah. It looked like he was he was real slow in the corner there. I'm waiting to see. Oh, GB's out. Oh, GB GB's crashed. Dead. Uh, he's serving his... Oh, yeah, Charisma's got out, wing... Coming out of turn three. Mr. Yeah. GB's dead right on the outside. Charisma's got wing damage for sure. He's getting a new nose cone in the pits. We're going to try to catch that wreck here. Safety car, safety car. So, oh, yeah, he's a big oh, wreck. You can see him there on the outside wall. Safety car's out. Yeah. Safety car's out. First one of the day. That's unfortunate. Mm. Uh, I think he dropped it all by himself there. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think he just lost his Skyro in the chat says Emu slid real bad. Okay, so that makes sense as to why he had the nose damage. He he definitely had... Oh wow. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you there. Just realized that JG and Dubsy now have a free free, free pit, pit stop. stop. Yep, they're coming in clean. That's big. That's huge for JG, especially. Dubsy is in a position that he's going to get overtaken by a couple of guys, but I think he's going to come out in front of Otto. JG is still going to remain in second. Nope, Otto just slipped by Dubsy there. So if Dubsy puts the hammer down, gets that pit here, you can beat Mallard. JG is going to hold on to second. He's on track. That was a big brain move from those dudes. Yeah, that was huge. Huge timing. Uh, GB in the chat says, bullshit game, how does that kill me every time I race in Brazil? Yeah, it's unlucky, bro. It's it's do or die here. Yeah, unlucky, mate. Unlucky. I was in the party with him. He said Brazil is his favorite track, but he has seemed to be cursed on it. Yeah. Yeah. I've been there. Hopkins, that. man. Yeah. I, I think I ran a whole race. I had a pretty good finish lined up, and I spun it coming down sector two, down the hill there in that little traction zone on the last lap and lost three or four positions. <laughs> <laughs> Held it together the whole race and then and then bottled it. You want to do an interview for us, GB? Let us know in the chat, man. We'll, we'll send, send you an invite. You can do as a little, little interview. A little Tell safety car happens. chat. Yeah, talk us through it. All right, so... Well, I looked up there and someone was breaking really close to the back of someone else on the safety car and it made me freak out. So everyone's on the inters now. This is going to be how it is when we get going in, but everyone's got to bunch up still. So we've got Maxim and Kings are coming in to the pits and they're fitting wet tires. That's interesting. Okay, so the rain is definitely getting worse. As real Skyro, as you're saying there, man. The rain is definitely getting worse and those guys 
have elected to go onto the full wet tires now, which means this may be this may be the big brain move. Yeah, I mean that rain is really really heavy now. Yeah, and you're starting there to see the water pool. Line. Yeah, the water's yeah. starting to pool. Want to give a big sponsor shout out to the the beverage cart girl. Thank you, love, for restocking the the beer chug case. <laughs> beer chugs are standing by. Don't be shy. So we got. Mm, this is interesting now. This is big on strategy because those tires, the inters, if. It keeps raining like this for a while. They're going to be totally useless very soon. Yeah, you can see it tracks very wet. Uh, drink menu tonight. All right, so tonight's stream is sponsored by Voodoo Ranger Fruit Force. Fruit punch flavored IPA. It's delicious. Tastes just like unsweetened Hawaiian punch, if you guys have that. Fruit punch. It is a new Belgian style beer. It is a 9.5%. Nine and a half, that's enough. Yeah, yeah, they'll get you there. They'll get you there. That's why when y'all maybe <laughs> chug them, it's, it's a struggle. That's half the fun of the beer chugs. We were also backdooring that with a tropical sunrise daiquiri. Because I didn't have beers. <laughs> so, tropical sunrise daiquiri. Nice. Yeah, yeah, so we're, we're double I hope you've got an there. umbrella and not bad boy. Mm -mm. Just a straw. <laughs> Just a straw. Oh. Are you drinking it from a coconut or no, no, just, just a glass? A polystyrene cub. <laughs> a polystyrene cub. You're not trusted with glasses at this point. <laughs> no, we have these lovely things here in Texas where you can drive through and get one of these and bring them back to your house. <laughs> oh, nice. So All you get a drive through. Wait, hold up, hold yeah. up. So you can get an alcoholic beverage drive through. They don't question it. Yeah, so they close the top off. If you open it, you assume responsibility for it. So you, you assume responsibility. Yeah, so, okay. so they, they, they close the top. They give you a separate straw. This one's from a few days ago. We got it put it in the freezer. But, yeah, uh, I love how in the U.S. police officers are completely fooled by brown paper bags. Yeah. You can do anything. Just put a brown paper bag over it and they have no idea. My favorite thing to do is put the... Uh, Oh, here we go. Safety car's coming in. Oh, we're in. We're on. <clears throat> like putting, enough uh, talking like, dockeries. No, no, there's never enough talking dockeries. Budweiser. <laughs> kind of guy myself. Okay. It seems that you have piss poor taste in alcohol, but that's okay. We won't judge you for that. <laughs> we're going, we're going. Ooh. Ultra's in the pits. Ultra has elected to pit immediately. Ultra's doing the big brain move here. Oh, oh big wiggle oh. by JG. He's lost two positions, hey, three positions. Conley's in the wall. Conley's had a oh. moment. Oh, Conley's lost the whole nose cone on turn two. Yeah. That's a big loss there. That's going to be difficult. Ultra Titan full wets. He said, to hell with it. These guys are really struggling, man. The guys on the inters. Oh, yeah, this really is going to be bad. Struggling. The rain is very heavy now. You can see it. We go to the cockpit of the Mercedes of Elliott. You can see it's coming down in buckets now. Track very wet, no dry line. You can see even Boss Cookie's nose struggling to, to get traction. Yeah, he's not pulling a gap. He's, he's hanging on for dear life, it would seem. Maxim has got through Halo on the wets. It's definitely a full wet situation right now. Yeah, for sure. Oh, oh. Mm. Big calamities, Mallard's, big calamities. Mallard's off. Mallard's off. He's back Center. in now. Oh. Center with a huge whip. Going down, trying to go down the inside. Paiyu Kings goes around his outside and takes the place. More grip on those wets. Marks him up another couple of places here. If he can get this move done, there he goes on Stenner. Stenner with no traction. Yeah, He's it's wet. Right it's wet. See a lot of people pit here. Oh, yeah, back half of the pack. Yeah, back half of the pack. Standard picks a five-second up for speeding. Yeah. All right, it's wets, boys. It's wets. Rain's coming down this in buckets. This is a nutty, nutty race. I've run out of breath like four times. Look at Elliot <laughs> here. Elliot on the inners, though. He's, he's giving Boss Cookie a little run here. Elliot taking it to him on the green stripes. Traction is yep. a premium here. Like, it's difficult with these conditions, but he's hanging with him. Yeah, Elliot, Here comes Kings on the wets. 
Down the inside of Wait, JG. Things is flying. Dubsy has a three second penalty now. He was sort of going off track. It's all a bit unjust from the Oh, yeah. Day. He's he's still on in the inners. He's struggling to get the nose around. He looks like he's driving a boat. Yep. You think it'd handle better in the wet? <laughs> 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 There's big puddles now, though. Huge puddles. Yeah, you can see them there as they go on board with Dub Z. Big puddles forming on and off the track. Dubsy loses traction. Well, you Pine see him just kind of drift that one through. Yeah. Oh, he's going to get him. Dubsy's got to get in and get the wets. He's got to. Dubsy's Stays out. out. He's staying out. Maxim now going to try and make the move on Pio, is he? Payox. I don't know. Payox. I don't know how to say that. Kings. Just say Kings. Just say Kings. <laughs> Oh, Kings with a oh. big lunge. Oh, man, he loses the front end. He's able to hang on to it, but Maxim's going to go through. The front end just took a little dive there. Oh, man, what a really save. Up in front as well here. Look at this. Both Mercedes, 2-3. Silver Arrow's back in it now. All it took was a little rain. Maxim was rooting for the rain. He knew it was coming. And I got to say, big hat tip to Maxim. Lagged out in yep. quali. Lagged out trying to get back in. Started dead last. He's in third right now. The heart of the line. He's on for a win right now. If literally, if the rain holds out. Down to the back here. Ollie trying to get a nip of the emu. Oh, emu with another wiggle. There we go. Maxim is down the inside. He gets it down on his teammate. He's right behind Boss Cookie now. No, and he's going to get him too. He's this is gonna... for P1. Boss Cookie. Lost off traction almost. Maxim had to back out of it. He's going down the inside. Boss gives him a lunge. Maxim's yeah, gone, right. son. Boss, Boss is going to pit, I think. He's gone. Oh, no, no, he stays out. It is definitely wet weather. The wet tire is the tire right now. You can see just the absolute grip difference between the blue and green yeah. striped tires. So Maxim Ogle with a big, great move at Brazil. Up into P1. Three places in one lap there. But Max Verstappen moves being made here today, guys. Group roaring, too. Look at him. He's a second and a half. A little more ahead. Oh, King's King's doing a little drift there. You can see him counter steering as he comes down the hill. Man, it's just steadily picking up, too. The rain is just lashing now. Yeah, so Max and now just needs to get the head down and keep building this gap. He's obviously got strength Ooh, in this condition. That was a big lunge by Kings. Gets it done. Oh, man. Elliot just had nothing to do to that. Very late move by Peo. The Kings Kings got through. He just stuck the nose in there, and the wet tires let him hold the line. He's going to go around Boss Cookie on the outside now. Boss is defending, but I don't think he's going to be able to hold it. Oh, there's a coming together. Just a subtle touch. Oh, yeah. And Kings is able to go around. Boss almost has to lift there to avoid contacts. Kings has the outside line well ahead. Boss Cookie is going to stay out. Does he know He's something we don't out. know? Ooh. I'm also sure everyone else is paid for the whites apart from... <laughs> so three, four people Zip, are still on in there. Zip in the chest is Maxim. What the F? He's out 4.8 <laughs> seconds now. He's dialed it's in. Slot. It's become a slot yeah. car. It's not even. <laughs> now it pretty much is only Waddy is if Kings didn't start dropping the gap. If I believe Kings is going like to try. Well. Oh, no. We've got somebody. Somebody is happening here. Uh, Ultra Titan through. Ultra Titan through JG into seventh. Yep. Looks like Arrow has gotten past Dub Z as well. He will pass Mallard as well in that same breath. Well, this is yep. a close fight right now. It's Elliot and Boss Cookie. Both on the inners. Both struggling here. Maybe they know something we don't. Yeah, I mean, most of the grid. There's oh, he's going for it. All right, so, so Zamp in the chest is this is Maxim's last ever league race, by the way. He's selling his rig. Oh, then you got to get that dub, big dog. Go get it. Bring it home. I thought you said Australia was going to be his last one. Australia is next, next week. 
I was sent by a stim piece. Maybe he, he expedited that sale. Oh, here he comes. Here comes Elliot on Boss Cookie. Oh, these guys are battling it out. Oh, look at the drifts. Both of them drifting into the corners. Oh, man. The inners just barely hanging on to this. Boss Cookie with a little whip there as well. Oh, and here comes. Is that Arrow? Arrow right in the middle. Arrow says, excuse me, oh, guys. Yeah. I've got the actual tires. <laughs> if you could move to the right, please. <laughs> oh, 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 he runs him off. That's a good defensive move Shut by Boss down. Cookie. <laughs> I don't think it was intentional. I think he was just struggling to keep no. the car on the track. <laughs> All right, Arrow's <laughs> in the third. Good, good run for him. Yeah, that was a good little move. ET in the mix as well. He's starting to he's starting to creep up on these guys. You've got the, the wet tires after a little incident. Yeah, that was a bit good. of a shocker today. So this has opened shit up big time because Boss Cookie was looking like the strongest out of everyone if he was on the right tires, but for some reason he's decided to be stubborn and stick to the inners, which may have killed him. I think I think he knows something we don't. There's 36 laps left. There's nothing to know, man. He's lost. He was in, he was had a comfortable five second lead before the safety car, right? On the same tires as everyone else in the same conditions. And now he is about 30 seconds behind the leader. Dubsy's sticking that. with the inners as well, though. So is JG. There's got to be an, an idea of no. something. They're losing too much time for it to be of any use. No idea why they're doing it. They're losing too much time. Russ, thanks for the lurk, big dog. We appreciate you supporting the stream. You're the man. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Yeah, if, this you, guys, is, this if is... you guys can't watch the uh, the stream, you can absolutely do that code right there. Just pop in the stream, exclamation point, lurk, and that'll give us the view off your account, even though you're not sitting here watching the, the stream, though. That'd be super appreciated. Yeah. Live views are where we get the big money at. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ultra Titan, Ultra Titan down the inside of Elliot. He's getting the move down. They were within inches of each other. This is some good ass racing right here. Ooh, and then Stenner comes Stenner, barging in. Stenner just barges <laughs> in there. He's like, I don't mind if I do. <laughs> Stenner said, good racing. Where? Uh, oh man, what a move. That was clean though. Down the inside, clean. He just followed Ultra Titan through, committed. I like it. And Ultra Titan's gonna get through Boss Piggy as well. He Boss get yeah, Boss Cookie's had enough. Right? He's in the pits. No! Nope. He comes back out. He's staying out. He's <laughs> I will be stubborn. I will stick to these tires. You could kill me. Which it may very well do. Same <laughs> <laughs> very well. Alright, so Ultra seems to be hanging on to that position for now. I think he's quicker in sector one, maybe sector two, but Stenner's, Stenner's end of sector two, sector three is strong. And so, I think this will be our, our close battle. Yeah. It's the battle of the mid though, right? Here's Mallard and Halo. Mallard and Halo, yeah, they're yeah, pretty close. They've been back close, back close for a while. And Titan, so it's like we got two battles right here on top of each other. We've got Elliot and Boss Cookie as well. They're kind of battling on the, the inters for a while. Rain not letting up. Looks like it's oh. slacked a little bit. Boss Cookie had a massive win there. I thought he was going to go right off the track. I don't know how he held on to that. Looks like the, the rain's slacking a little bit here. Yeah, it might be coming down. Still absolutely sodden track, though. Yeah, as I said, Stenner caught up, closed up to Ultra there in the sector two, in the sector three, but, and on the straight and stuff, Ultra's just gone. All right, so Skyro in the chest as Emu's chasing down Dub Z. Let's see if those inners pay off. I don't think it's going to be a good, a good outcome as Emu makes short work of him into turn one. <coughs> there we go. Move done. Move done. Emu into ten. Dub Z down to eleven. Good they shot, got Ollie so. right behind him as well. Yeah, Ollie's catching him too.
Bender's still trying to get a bet on Ultra, but... It must be frustrating that straight line speed Ultra has is just beating him. Yeah, he's rapid in straight line today. Yeah. Skyro in there with an emu moment. <laughs> it was. It was indeed a good overtake. But I believe we use that one for when he makes an actual emu moment. <laughs> <laughs> the ones we know he loves. <laughs> <laughs> Still, Moxon seems to be pulling away at this point, slowly but surely edging his way to glory. Right now, we've got another 13 racing laps to do yet, though, guys. We probably possibly have any other conditions to go through, so... This battle, Ellie Rain is definitely... Cookie. Ellie tried to give him a run, Boss Cookie defended hard. More this is the slightiest today. battle in the world. Take a moment to recognize our donating members today. Ezzy with a 500-bit donation. Pretty sure that was a beer chug last stream. Craig Cotley in there for 30 as well. So much love to you guys. Those reset in five days for the new leaderboard. We've had a bit of a slow, slow month this month. We had a break week for two weeks. Big break, yeah. How was everyone's? How was your break, bro? Did you have a oh, good time? Good couple of weeks. I actually had an entire week off of work. Didn't know what to do with myself. Nice. It was a blur. <laughs> <laughs> Many fruity beverages were consumed. Yeah, yeah. Liver was working double shifts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a mix right here. So we got Stinner about four tenths behind Ultra Titan. Elliot bouncing between four and six tenths behind Boss Cookie. Halo about the same distance behind him. Mallard the same distance behind him. So we got like a bit of three, four way battle in the midfield. Yeah. Boss Cookie holding off with the inners. Elliot holding off with the inners. Looks like the rain is really slack. It's just a drizzle now, but the track's still pretty wet. I think we're going to see some, uh, some dry track here at the end of the race, maybe. Yeah, Halo is having a good look. On Elliot there. And Conley's but. well, Doug Z. Ollie's in the pits. See what he's going to do here. He's going for more inners. Going from wets to inners for Ollie. In the now. So the inters are coming back into their own now then. Interesting. So now we're going to see Boss Cookie. The likes of Boss Cookie start to pick up. Yeah, you can see that, that time now is dropping. It was four and a half seconds a minute ago. He's dropping like almost half a second to a second a lot now on the next car, yeah. which is steady. This is the gamble. This is the gamble. Yeah, man. You have to wonder what the tire wear is like. The Tim's look good if you look at the MFD. So, mm -hmm. Oh, there's Kings in. Kings is going to... Go for, I would assume, the inners he's got to. He enters now, yeah. So the question is, though, how long is this drizzle going to last? Is All it going right. to go with slick tires again? Enters, enters for uh, Kings as well. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. If anyone's picking now, it's going to be for enters. Anything else would be suicide. Madness. Yeah. Conley in the pits, Dubsy staying out. Conley with a big dive there at the last minute. Boss Cookie's pushing hard now. He's got just under three seconds to the next car, and that's been standard this whole time on the west. So the inters are getting faster and faster every lap. He's pushing too, you can see him. He's really sending that Red Bull right now. <laughs> So at this point right now, Maxim has 20 seconds to the next car, which is Ultra Days. If he was to pit now and put on the inters, it is a the damn good plan to do so. Yeah, I, I would agree. I think you got to do it now while you got the free pit style. Do it now, for <laughs> sure. There he is. There he goes. In the pits. There he goes. He listened. He listened. Good good All right, so if he goes on to these inters now and he keeps up his pace because... Boss Cookie and Elliot are the next nearest cars who are on inters to him, but their inters are 16 laps old. He might he should come have more pace than them. Right behind Ultra Titan. Yeah. Probably third. He should or have fourth. more pace. It's gonna be close. He's, really, he's hanging on to it. He's hanging on to it. He's gonna come out right behind Titan. 
right behind Titan, yeah. yeah. There it is. That's the shout. He's got the better and tires. He should have more pace now. Yeah. More pace. He should get by him fairly quickly here. He's just got to be he smart. He just needs to be patient. Yeah, yeah it'll be patient for sure. Let him get some heat. Getting tacky. He start making money moves. Great pit stop by Max Mobile, the Mercedes team. Yeah. It's just what he needed, man. A clean pit stop. Now he just needs to keep it clean here. He needs to get past Titties and carry on down the road and not worry about anything else for a while. He's all over him. You can see the cornering difference there. Oh! Ooh, that was a big whip. That was a big whip. He can see, he's going to get him here if, he, if he's careful on this next turn. Here comes Boss Cookie he, as well. Boss Cookie's now right behind him, so that's an issue. But he's got 17 lap old tires. If he can get past Titties now, carry on up the road. Probably good. There. Yeah. Like well, I think what went through his head there was that Ultra might want to pit, and if he's going down the inside, walking the pits. Now you see Boss Cookie it's gonna be a problem. Out of the frame. Boss Cookie yep. in the mix. Are Boss Cookie's tires gonna go the rest of the race though? Uh, I don't know. He's babying them pretty good. Anders go forever. If anyone, can, if anyone can do it, it's him. I think he can take it. Yeah. It's going to be close. But... He's going past Ultra now as well. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got that head down. down. Mercedes oh. both on oh. the Oh! Maxim outbroke himself there. Hit the into the back of Ultra. And now he's getting done by Elliot as well. Oh, and they made contact. Left rear to right front. Yeah. A little bit of a touch there. Both still alive. He's back down the Boxing inside. Boxing with a better launch. Yeah, back down the inside. A little battle between teammates. No team orders here. They're racing each other hard. Yeah, they're racing. Let's go. All right, here he goes. He's going to try and get the move done this time. He's got a clean run. The Ultra says no. That straight line speed the Ultra has. Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. He opens up about a two, three car gap down the streets. No battery either. What? That was all. That was all car. My game just froze. Oh, and we're migrating hosts. Yep, yeah, my, my game gave up the ghost. All right, one second. I'll shoot you an invite back. That's all right, man. I can join back. It's all, all right. good. Do your thing. Oh, Maxim down the inside of Titan. That was a big lunch, big overtake there for him. Boss Cookie out front on the 19 lap old inners. Safety car, safety car, in. safety car. Who do we lose? Safety car. Yep. Oh, I'm on an object right now. You barely see him. Where'd he die? Kings is dead. I don't even see him. Is he in the pitch? Maybe. Safety car's out though. Very confused. I did not see what happened. Let's check the director real quick. Um, I'm just rejoining now. Incident. Was it a terminal? It had to be Kings. Cause Kings was going. DNF terminal damage. So Kings, Kings eight. Terminal he's damage. Eight yep. Kings is out. We're safety car, safety car, safety. Oh, and a drive through for Halo. Terminal damage. Oh, All right. Halo. Drive through. That's gonna hurt. All right, there's Balls brutal. Cookie in the pits. That's what he needed. He's going to go for the fresh tires. So, Kings, if you're in the chat, man, let us know what happened there, bro. I didn't quite okay, catch that one. Okay, so, so here's the magic right now. Balls Cookie, Ultra Titan, both pitting for the soft tires. Oofed. This is brave. It's still coming down. That is interesting. Oh, this is going to be a huge gamble. Those guys, they have huge balls. Yes, big, big balls. <laughs> oh, man, this is going to be nuts. I mean, it's going to dry up quick because there is a lot of water on the track right now.
We're going to do probably three or four laps here. Everybody's very spread out. Safety car has picked up Maxim in the end of sector two. We've got drivers coming out of the pit, so I think we're going to do three or four laps here. My, so that's so... my assumption there would be because the game told him to. GB said, why is Elliot overtaking the safety car? And it's got to be because the game told him to. I mean, the game must have told him to. Yeah, yeah. If, he if someone was off track. Safety car, it'll, it'll ping him. So. And he has, he has no penalty. I'm going to assume the game told him to go ahead and go around. Might be a lap yeah. car. I'm guessing it was Ultra that he overtook. Not sure. Dubsy's in the pits for the Enters. So some gambling going on here. JG went with the uh, soft tires as well. Rain's still coming down. Still like a light sprinkle. A lot of water on the track. Maybe it's going to be dry right here. Maybe trying to tough it out. I don't know. Up to 18 viewers. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in for your... Uh, Sunday fun day with safe space racing. We appreciate you. If you're new to the chat, say hi. Let's, let's give you a it's, shout out. So the guys that are on softs are off their heads, surely. It's still raining a little bit. Like right now there is still it's just stopped drizzling, I think. Ollie is that a chat. big bird move? Ollie in the chat says he's got underbody damage. Beware when overtaking me. Alrighty. So, I'm really interested to see what's going to happen now with the, it's gonna be a drag the race. slick tires. Otto's in the pits. I think a lot of people are coming in. Yeah. Loads softs, of people coming softs. in now. Everybody's going to the softs. Yep. It's going to dry up quick. Um, so the, the, the gonna initial be soft tires are, are a smart group there. It looks like soft tire is the way to go. Yep, this is going to be a proper flapper right here, bud. Literally just, it's going to be like three or four laps of just pure speed. Pure expect, insanity. Expect some incidents. <laughs> Dude, like this race hasn't been spicy enough already. Then we get a safety car and everyone goes on softs. So Mallard yet to pit. Ogle yet to pit. So hey. that hail has still got a drive through. Hadel's got to oh, drive through and mediums, so he can't do his drive through until after yeah. the safety car. He might get disqualified here after everyone pitted. Yeah, I mean, Hadel is screwed one way or the other. Whichever way you look at, Hadel is pretty screwed. That that drive through just killed him. And the sauce, the, with having to pit for the sauce, he'll have to pit and do a different pit for the drive through. All right, safety car in this lap. We're going race on lap thirty-two. A lot of people still not budged. Yeah, there's gonna be four or five at the front. They're fixing to duke it out. Like Ultra's caught up. Halo's still four seconds back, but he'll meet the group. So well, Maxim's leading the charge here. Oh, he's gonna get. Like he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. You got a damn good start there. Yeah, he got a monster start, but he's gonna get eight up. Man, what a perfect time start there. That was absolutely rapid. I don't think it's going to do him any justice, though. Well, the Inters are still faster right now. Mallard They're still the Look how much faster Mallard is than Boss Cookie there. And he's been struggling all race. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Four laps, so once this drives up, those Inters are going to be screaming. Ultra's getting swallowed up by Elliot. All right, so this is very interesting. Now, Elliot gets a penalty there. Three seconds. 
And he's flying. He's coming right up on the back of Otto now as well. Halo and JG at the back are having a wrestle. Oh, Halo's around in the pit lane. He can't get going. Alright, there's the penalty situation. So Arrow and Elliot raising for position. Ultra Titan's through with the penalties. So, <laughs> Ultra Titan net P4 right now. Elliot and Otto duking it out. With Elliot and the Silver Arrow East Trail. Oh, look at, look at the Ferrari just take off yeah. and leave him in the corner. I don't got a much better run, even though he's got more downforce. So look at Elliot catch him Elliot's going to catch him in the straight, though. Mercedes is very fast. Lunges to the inside, makes a late breaking move. Down the inside is the Mercedes. Ferrari's going to stick it side. in there, though. He's going to battle him out. It looks like a little more downforce for the Ferrari, able to pull ahead and defend the position. Here comes. Mercedes a second time. He's right on the back seat of him. Oh, no DRS this lap. Yep, nope. And the Ferrari puts it right where it needs to be, right in the middle of the track, giving him no room to go either way. What a defensive move by Arrow, using the techniques, using the car to the best of its ability. He knows he's got him in the corner. He's just got to keep the car right in the middle of the track so he can't get by. <clears throat> Yeah, some fantastic. defensive driving, man. Yeah, defensive driving 101 right there. All right, so Elliot's taking some big, long, massive, wide lines just there. He's looking for an opportunity. As soon as Adam makes a mistake, he's going to be all over it. If Adam makes a mistake, that is. Got a damn good launch out of there. Yeah, yeah, yet again, you see the, the corner speed exit. He's able to get the power down a little, a little earlier, just pull away. The Mercedes is just rapid in a straight line. Look at this. Down the outside. Tried the inside last time. He's going for the outside this time. It leaves him on the inside for turn two. In turn three, though, Otto is faster. Just a subtle bit, but the, the Ferrari's faster in the corner. What a defensive move again. Arrow putting on a defensive master class here at the end of the race. Still penalty free, or I'm sorry, Ultra Titan still penalty free, so he's into a net yep. five. P5 at the moment, yeah, I bet Elliot and Otto are pulling away from him, I think. DRS is enabled. Here we go, it's dry, boys. Boogity boogity, we got two laps, two laps to decide it. Maxim's still hanging on. So Elliot should get Otto this time now with the DRS if he does what he did last lap. And he gets a better run now this time as well. So Otto's a little bit vulnerable this time. Which way is he going to go? Down the inside. Just down the inside. He's got him here. Pinching him on the outside and he's got him, yep. He's got to come straight across that second corner and he does. He's going to come out ahead. Mercedes has moved up into P4. Otto's turned to the DRS this time. He's coming back at him. Wrapping in a straight line. Look at him. He's going to go down the inside. He's alongside where so he takes not the line happen. line. It's not going to happen. It's just a too little too late. Yeah. The outside line there is so much faster. He just hung it around the outside and no worries. But oh, oh, and he's oh, gone. He's, he's, he's gone. Oh, Elliot he's just gone. loses it. Oh, man. After what an epic battle that was. Oh, man. Oh, it was so unfortunate for Elliot. Gone. Oh, you hate to see it. What an epic battle just to, to lose it there. Oh. Now Stenner's right on the back of Ultra as well. We've got that's our next post battle here. We've got Boss Cookie also coming up on the back of Mallard. One of these guys is gonna make a move. Probably Boss Cookie right now. Oh, and he slams into the back of Ultra Titan there. Just absolutely plows into the back of the Alpha Romeo. As, as Boss Cookie goes past Mallard down into turn one, gets the move way down before the turn. That is the third that's Boss Cookie in P2. The Haas has made contact with the Alpha Romeo of Ultra Titan in this race. So here we go guys, it's last lap. False cookie within two and a half seconds of Maxim. Is Maxim gonna pick up his first dub of the year? Well it should be from what I understand his first and his last, so let's go. Maxim's gonna Alright guys, this is it. On. I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna happen. 
Boss Cookie looking rapid right now. Boss Cookie's gonna pull Elliot as well, there. right on the back of Ultra. Oh, he's on. He's in his hip pocket now. Look at this. We're on board of the Red Bull. There's no chance. Oh. He enters. There's. Oh, and he hits oh. him. He hits him. Oh, oh he hit him. no. Oh no. There was just the subtlest of contact there. Boss Cookie ahead. Oh no. That's not how you want to do it. Oh, that's, that's it then. That's it. Boss Cookie's gonna take. I don't think. From my point of view, not malicious. Looks like he maybe had to break no, a little harder with the inners, and I don't think Boss Cookie expected it. No, Boss isn't that kind of guy. Oh, man, that's a tough one, though. Spinner's yeah. going to go P6, Ultra Titan, P5, Elliot 7, Ollie 8. Dub Z is going to hang on to 9. Chris Will with 9 seconds behind and a penalty. He's not going to jump in Conley. <laughs> Might move up here. Only Conley's my jumps. Yeah. Go 10, 9, 10 for McLaren. Good finish to those guys. JG's gonna finish 10, 12th, and then Halo's bringing it around now. What a race, man! A spicy one in Brazil. Damn, that was an insane race, man. Oh, Maxim, insane race. Maxim's shocked. Oh, bro. Oh, and they're already in that the chat. Insane. He's like, oh, Jesus Christ, Max, I'm sorry about the tap. I slowed so I wouldn't pass you there. Yeah. Oh, man, Max, I'm with driver of the day honors, and I couldn't agree more. What a fantastic drive. Conley said poop, strategy issues. Yeah, that was a tough one for McLaren. But, hey, it's a good finish. 9-10, you guys right there together. That was a mental race. The weather was all over the crazy. place. Here comes Boss Cookie down the tunnel, walking to the podium, pulling out yet another win. All right, Skyro, thanks for joining us, man. Appreciate the help watching the battles. Much love to you, brother. Enjoy your evening. All right, don't go anywhere. We got interviews. Boss Cookie gets a fast lap, 110, 326, and the win. Maxim with Driver of the Day honors Mallard on the podium today. So much love to those guys. So we got Mallard. I can't invite, I can't invite Maxim because he's on PC. Won't well, let me invite him to the party. Maxim, join off of us, big guy. If you can join off of us, Maxim, if you're listening, please do. Join our yeah. party. We'll come talk to us. Let's interview you. You deserve it. Fantastic uh, we'll invite today. We'll invite Ultra Titties as well because why not? He always likes to have a chat and yeah, bring Ultra talk us through in. stuff. Boss cookies in. All right, let's see if we can get it up. So we got a. Uh couple of people couple of people in here today that's a good race man spicy weather just super mixed big gamble by boss cookie on the tires it paid off lots of battles all over the grid it was good it was good yeah it was awesome loogie had a just big stint today two turns <laughs> two turns for me <laughs> watch out hope you stretched before that it was the best two turns i ever did right yeah it was the third one that got you. <laughs> it was like an espresso, bro. Super high power. <laughs> then a sharp burst. All right, All right. Let's see if we can get the so, showroom up here. We've only got Boss Cookie in so far. So we'll just go ahead and we'll talk to the man, the myth, the legend himself. Boss Cookie, another win today, bro. But at times it didn't look like you were going to pull it out. Talk us through your race, man. Hi, uh, hello. Um, no, it was, a. I I spent more time on the wrong tire than I did on the correct one, which is fun. Um, but yeah, I, I was going to put on the wets when I saw it was, like, really bad, but then I saw that, like, uh, Maxim and a couple other people already did that, and I would have been, like, 15 seconds behind. So I was just like, let's just take the gamble, because it's going to drought out eventually, and it did. And I think I would have been net two, and then I passed Maxim on the... And he came out of the pits, uh, so I was still in at P1, um, and then safety car came out. I took another gamble, 
under the softs, and then they only started paying dividends like the last three laps. Uh, but that was like five seconds a lap quicker than the Merc. Uh, wanted to wait for the DRS, but he was way slower than I anticipated. Uh, gave him a little tap on accident, slowed up for him so I wouldn't pass him after half spinning him. Uh, he let me by anyways, maybe to get the DRS and uh, yeah. Yeah, man. Well, it was a good race. It was awesome to watch. As I say, at times, it didn't look like you were going to pull it out, but you managed to sort of stick it out, as you said, and remained on those tires, and then just used your pace to, to claw it back, which was, was impressive to watch from my point of view. So, well done, man. Well done. Yeah, thank another you. good win for yourself, and sh another shed load of points for Red Bull. Yeah, hell of a drive yeah, today. Hell of a drive. Yeah, man. We've also got... All right, so we had a lot of action during that interview, so hold on before we get into the other ones. Craig Conley in there with 500-plus bits. Uh, 510 bits, but a big celebration today. Arrow has resubbed for his two-year anniversary, 24 months. So much love to Arrow. Congratulations on your two-year anniversary here at SSR subbing. Much love, brother. Go check Arrow out. His his Twitch is in the chat right there. If you haven't already, go give him a follow. Show him some love. He supported us for two full years with subscriptions. Those are paid. He's paid to watch us for two years. So go show him some love. So much love to that. He is awesome. Conley with some big bits. So Conley's now taking, I believe, the bit lead. Yeah, Conley at the bit lead, 540. Let's do a beer chug for Conley. Should we do a beer chug for Conley? No, yeah. you do a beer chug for yeah. Colin. And then, and then we'll do a beer chug for two years of subbing. Nice. All right. Mm -hmm. So while AJ is fixing to do that, we will have a word from another legend, Ultra McTatties. <laughs> I thought we'd get you, man. You're always keen to have a chat. Let's uh, talk through your race a little bit, man. You had a few, uh, a few shake your pants moments, I noticed. A few. Talk us through Maybe. it, man. How was it? <laughs> it was quite fine at the beginning i knew i was going to struggle in the mid weather changes because my setup was so quick on the straights but really tough on tire grip in the corners so in those mid uh transitions i was going to struggle with grip much more than anyone else was going to so i was ready to battle that but i got the first change ready but mark on radio was saying nothing under the first safety car about the weather getting hot, uh, getting heavier. So I had to pit right at the end when I saw it get heavy and then just did my best to catch up after that. And then it's tough to figure out whether to pit on inters or softs. Inters did seem like the better choice in the end, but even yeah. then when trying to balance the softs and such low grip, my low wings were helping, weren't helping at all. So I just had to do what I could to try yeah, and well, keep it uh, clean. I'd say your your low wings helped you a few times. There was a few times where like Otto, for one, was behind you and he was like on different tires. He was getting a better run than you, all sorts of stuff. And you were still just screaming away from him on the straights. So <laughs> I think I think it definitely helped you at times. Yeah, he was not rapid low, in the straights. It was nuts. Super quick on the straights, man. But yeah, awesome race. Literally, I ran yeah. out of breath a couple of times calling it because there was so much where me and AJ were both calling different races at the same time, and oh, it was nuts. It was nuts. <laughs> I lost in two turns. Yes. Madness. Dubs yeah. in there with another that 500 so bits. All right. So also, we've got AJ. Are you lined up to have a beer chug now, my man? Yeah, we knocked one of them out. We're doing the second one. This one's going to be for the You've 24 months. 24 months He's right here. This one's for you, Arrow. Beer chug for Otto. All right, your man's going to be wasted now after this. Yep, sure is. <clears throat> All right. So other than that, I think have you got any more beer chugs to do or anything, AJ? Or are we we good now? <laughs> I think we're keyed up. I think we're keyed up. We're keyed. All right, sweet. That's as for the week. Next Could I make a request? Yeah. Uh, Mallard finished on the podium. He needs to get interviewed. Yeah, come on, Mallard. Did he? Yeah, we sent him an invite, right? Yeah, He's Mallard's safe. in the party. I'm I'm here. Mallard. I'm here. Mallard. Loogie missed oh, you. Joined. Loogie missed you. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Or how did you miss <laughs> My Mallard? Bad. My bad, bro. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's rewind that for a bit. 
Mallard, <laughs> it's good to see you here on the podium, man. You had a good race. From what I saw, yeah. you had a few shit your pants moments also. Yeah. But... Oh my god. Um, was getting bumped around for the first few laps, uh, and then during the wet weather, kind of the crossover from inters to wets, I also took a punt. Um, Hamilton on Albin style. Uh, recovered from that and towards the end of the race started getting nervy with the, uh, the strategy calls decided to stick on the inters thought I would be able to pull enough of a gap and thankfully I did um, but <laughs> certainly wasn't expecting a podium today so well pleased yeah, man. well That's pulled awesome, out man. well deserved too man good drive thank you yeah apologies for missing you there bro apologies no worries that was that was awesome though. Yeah, what a race. We got madness I'd... going on in the chat right now. We are now level two hype train. Dubsy just donated another hundred bits so that he could be in the lead. So Dubsy's at six hundred, Greg Conley's at five forty, Ezzy's got five hundred. <laughs> We've got a, a level two hype train going on. Guys, Dubsy's in the chat. Race. Uh his his Twitch is in the chat as well. Go give him a follow as well. Show him some love. Dubsy's been a long time member here. He donates a lot. He's a great guy. I got to meet him this year. It was awesome. Me and Dub had a had a lunch and chatted for a few hours, and he's just an absolute stand up guy. If you get a chance to sit down with him, do it. He's he's amazing. Yeah, Mallard's American. Sample, pull it together. Not everyone can be British, all right. We gotta have some Americans on this on this grid. How did you not know that, Zampa? <laughs> oh you <laughs> know Collie, there was a thousand bits. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's, going we're going to have to think of something intelligent battle. to start talking about it's now because battle. we were just about to sign off and now there's a bit battle, battle guys. Ollie, give us a song. 40 bits for Conley. <laughs> Dubsy counters with another thousand. 1600 bits for Dubsy. <laughs> we got a madness going on here. <laughs> we got a madness. I'm going to have to get Declan to start auctioning. Guys, here. stop wasting your money. Yeah, it's oh. not a waste. How do you think the commentary <laughs> happens? You stay out of this, Mallard. This is not the first time this has happened, to be what fair. Did I this do? happened before an OTL. And <laughs> it was Oli that's right. It was Oli that said that. Oh, it was Oli. Oh, I didn't yeah, catch yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. Out I'm blown away by all these. This level three hype train. Declan. This Start happened before. Them off. Hey, we got 1,000, well, 6,000, 6,000, 6, 1,540, 1,540, Conley. <laughs> Get him a bet. It's an emu moment for sure. Conley going ham. Dub Z says, not in my porch. Nope. <laughs> We're madness. now just commentating on the bit war. It's a madness. It's a madness. Little Declan, you say hi. It's like a boxing match. Hey, look right here and say hi to everybody. Wave at <laughs> We got a left hook from Craig, Craig Conley with the, with the bits. Absolute a right, a right haymaker from Dub Z. Absolute madness. Much love to you guys that support the stream. We actually had a pretty good turnout today, like 15, 18 people today. So that's huge for us coming back from the big break week. So much love to you guys. Let's see. What do we got next? I believe it's Australia. That's going to coincide with the real yep. race. And then Jeez. the following weekend, we have either Spain or Mexico. Uh, that's gonna yeah, be Spain. Spain yeah, it's gonna be Spain. No one likes Mexico, yes. so it's gonna be Spain sprint format, and yeah. then Monza, and then we'll have another break week. So we got some good tracks coming up: Brazil, Australia, Spain, Monza. Those are all absolute, absolute bangers. I like Spain, especially with the new update where they they readjusted the track. It's it's a lot of fun to drive. <clears throat> oh. All right, I think that's going to be it for us, guys. Much love for everybody tuned in today. Big win for Boss Cookie. Huge bit battle at the end. 24-month uh, sub by Arrow. So uh, a lot of action today. A lot of action. Much love to everybody. Hope you have a great rest of your week. We'll be right back with Australia on Sunday. Get your practice in. Loogie. Peace. Peace.